Hey guys, my name is Colton Kalmar. We're going to show you how to program the pipe master for threading today. So right now, we're going to make the 2D profile of our pipe. Here's the process off to the you can see on the screen. This is going to be your height of the pipe. Um, this will be your length of your pipe. I actually messed up. Hold on one second. I got to go back in here. Change some numbers. So under the length, now we're going to enter our height of the pipe. Hit OK. This is the profile of the pipe. And we're going to do our offset. This is going to be the wall thickness. Over here, add another entity. Select OK. You're going to go to your turning tab. You're going to do your drop down window and select threading. Hit OK. You're going to select your tool that you've used. I've already got one pre programmed in here. These are your parameters. This is where you can enter all your thread pitches and angles and all that. You enter your major diameter and your minor diameter. So the program knows how big the pipe is. You're going to select your um, start and end points. It's going to go two inches. You want to make sure this is the selected to OD. If not, it'll in the program when you go to pre-run it, it'll put the threads up front. For some reason, then select the tool. There it is. So as you can see right now, I'll put the threads out on your x-axis to fix that. You're going to go to parameters. Actually, I'll show you guys how to set up the tool. You want to make sure that it's counterclockwise or clockwise. You want to make sure that this tab is OD, and that'll fix the problem. You come up here, regen, and there you go. There's your threads. That is a short lesson on how to do threading with the Pipe Master.